Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play The Tal's Principal Blind, where we'll today be getting all the stars! Because I couldn't get a single one of them during my playthrough. Epic fail much? Anyway, for the one today, if we want to get back in here, that's probably why I'm here. This one's interesting to say the least. Not too complicated, I guess, in principle. Uh, well, I don't, I don't really think of it. Anyway, these statues here, they're platforms. Is that one man I should do for on? Oh, maybe I should get up first. No way, I can't jump up here. Yeah, I bet I can take this. This one was just a bit too high. Now. And basically, at this point, we have to. What would happen if I fell around there? Oh, it would just be having to go around. At this point, we basically have to leapfrog across everything. Whee! Good thing this is computer assisted. And now that we walk over here, we can get the star. Again, not really complex in solution, just... Well, I was long certainly looking around, but due to how it's set up, it's really not, you know, where you first think you had to jump up. But oh well. Let's move on. Oh boy, this one's gonna involve a lot of running back and forth. And also redoing a bit of a puzzle, but well, that's not bad in itself. We can do that, we can do that. So actually we want to do a lot of what we did before with this area. Select you, and select you. Get you out. And we want you there. This is all the basic parts, really. Now the interesting thing is, and if I remember actually correctly, I was pondering. I had some ideas for how to do this and what it could lead to, but the big problem was I couldn't see how to get the setup going. Uh, I'll explain as I do this. Because oh boy, we're going to get running now. Let place you here. So we take this. See. I did remember that over here there was a fan that was activated by a blue, and after solving the puzzle, I figured out correctly that indeed I was supposed to pretty much do the same but with a blue laser. The problem was that back at the other location, I couldn't see how to get a red laser over there. So that was really the problem at that point. But I've been able to get the information to rectify that issue as of now. Then, there, and then on top of it. Now, to trigger this, we'll need the red beam, correct? But the angles don't seem to make that possible. Except, of course, we are going to apply to Field. That means everything's not flat and two-dimensional. There we go. In fact, next to this cliff here, should be able to fight. So the box should be the yep. There it goes. And just like before, it's being kept it off by that. So now we can follow the beam. Lots of running back and forth in this one, I know. Right. Now it's just a question of... There we go. Okay, the next one also begins here. Can't need to reset this for ease. Or 
what's the really easiest way? Should I just knock the thing down? Probably should just knock the thing down. Ah, uh, hindsight. Wonderful. Anyway, we need the box. Yeah, she probably just knocked it down for ease. Uh, mistake on my part. Apologies. Apologies. Anyway, so this one's another weird one where it's probably not a complex execution. The complex part is finding out you have to do this to begin with. Kind of like the first one. In fact, this one's very similar to the first one, except it's more of the first one. Same type of puzzle with it. So, if you want to bring this along. All the way back to the entrance. You want to stack it here, because then you can jump up here, pull it up, put it here, and wham, you're walking on the wall. Then you fall down from the wall. This is a crucial step if you're an idiot. But if you're not an idiot, like I'm not, then you don't do that. I just did it for demonstration purposes. And it's all for your benefit. Actually, you're supposed to jump over here. Bam! You have the box on your inside. Huh. The star looks invisible from down here. Just never noticed it. Well, I mean, it's not overwhelmingly observable, but it's there. But then you basically have to crawl your way around on the architecture. Assassin's Creed style. Star gets right this one. I knew this one was gonna be bad. It requires, I'll be frank, it requires a ludicrous setup of running back and forth time shifts, uh, dual clones, and lots and lots of lasers. It requires a lot of effort. Memorizing the whole sequence will require a lot of effort. Doing it right will require a lot of effort. And if you get it wrong, well, I better hope you can figure out where to start from again if you don't want to start all over. Or that's indeed an option. But if you value your time and just want the fucking star, there are options. There we go. Ah. That option is that these gargoyles allow you to walk on top of the walls. And they were intended to be used as such by the developers, as can be seen from the difficulty it involves. But hey. Hmm. Alright, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I shouldn't walk on the thing at all. The spike thing. I mean, I know that's kind of obvious. Don't walk on the spike thing! I know. But yeah. And trust me, I checked. This is easy of the options available. Hmm. I'm not going to be doing it right. And I just trapped myself. It is a bit tricky, nonetheless. A bit more parkour based. Do, so just add some run into it. There we go. Just put a little... There we go. Still not done though, but we're making it there. There we go. Now comes the difficult part. Not a word from any of you. Not a single one. 
You may be asking Cooper, do you really prefer this to a complicated setup of uh, dual clone time shift mechanics and lasers and remembering sequences and running back and forth and setting time limits that if you fail or solve new problems, you will have to do it all over again? Do you really prefer parkour to that? Um, yeah, I do. I genuinely do. Again, I must admit, I like this game a lot. But I do feel that the clay, create time clone of yourself mechanic really wasn't well suited. This is a thinking man's game, a calm game. Every time those clones are around, you know you got a ticking time bomb on your hand. You gotta get things done. They could have come up with a better mechanic, I'm sure of it. The hardest part is actually just getting off. Walk on the walls turned out to not be so difficult once you remember to run. I think the gargoyle is rebelling. I suppose it's easier about being used as a stepping stone. Maybe if I stop running that would help. Give me a bit more control. Yes sir! This is what you're gonna be watching for the next couple of minutes. People, lots of gargoyle home. What pushed me? Did the wall just go nope and push me off? The frick. And I still find this more interesting than messing around with the time shift stuff. I guess I can keep ranting about it a bit. See, the thing is, I don't think a game like this needs a time limit, but automatic, one automatic comes up with those. And I really feel it's a shame. Huh, I got crash, but well, then I got lucky. So yeah, I really wish they chose another mechanic, because it's a mechanic I actually don't like and actually seek to avoid. To the point where I'm doing this, where I looked at what I had to do, and so here's the. Okay, apparently I can't stop moving there, but so you like that, so I'll be pushed out. But I just uh, I just look at the video of it, with all the running back and forth, and all the sequences, and all the tricky laser manipulation. That that would be fine. That would be fine. But then I saw all the clone usage. And in the final bit, you have to set up a complex system of lasers with four clone lasers up and get in and get the star uh, before the whole thing. And it doesn't leave so a lot of waiting. I, I sometimes feel like it's actually problematic for, from a Let's Play perspective because you get a lot of dead air. I mean, even here, at least you're getting me trying to do something. You're not sitting there in a minute watching me just. So that's the thing, I can work on these. Oh, but at least you're getting something. There's movement, there's action, there's an attempt at accomplishing something. Verdammt! So close. If I hadn't overshot it, I would actually have made it there in Home free. But yeah, there's stuff going on. You may say that it's boring. Uh, maybe. But you know... What's more boring than this? Or watching me stand around and look at a computer for one minute while trying to give myself enough time. Then see me fail at that for some reason. Or watch me give myself more minutes. Maybe because I didn't do what I should have done properly. Or maybe just because I didn't do... My idea wasn't the right one. Or I was lacking some element or something. I find that more boring. And really, a boring let's play is pro problematic. Say the least. Boring is not what this should be. This should be entertainment. I know I was trying to deliver quality entertainment in this. I know I don't always succeed. I'm fully aware of that. I am all. I'm ready to admit my failings. But both personally, from a mechanic standpoint, and from the point of view as a Let's Player, I don't feel the. <sighs> Thank you.
Ah, it does reset me back here. You know what? I'd known that I could probably save some time. Oh well, hindsight, 2020, so on. Anyway, where was I? Yes. So, from multiple perspectives, I really don't feel like this mechanic suits the game. 